Ending your day with prayer is a wonderful way to let go of stress and find peace before falling asleep. No matter what you face today, talking to God through goodnight prayers will renew your faith. Evening prayer also helps you see all the good things that happen in your day that you have to be thankful for. Praying before bed allows you to praise God and calm your mind before you sleep. It sets your mind on the things of God and not the things of this world. You can pray about the moments that challenge you throughout the day and give praise for the blessings you've experienced. Let us pray. Dear Lord, I adore you and I thank you for all the graces you have given me this day. I offer you my sleep and all the moments of this night. I implore you to keep me safe from sin. To this end, I place myself in your sacred side. Let your holy angels surround me and keep me in peace, and let your blessings be upon me. Dear God, the day was long and trying. I am grateful for its end. As I lay here waiting for sleep to overtake me, I count the blessings in the day that has passed. Work was hard. I'm blessed to have a job. My kids were frustrating. I'm blessed to have them. My body aches. I'm blessed to have medication. The list goes on and on, but even when I struggle, I am blessed to have faith. Thank you, Lord, for giving me a daily opportunity to rest and refresh. Psalms 4, verse 1 Answer me when I call to you, my righteous God. Give me relief from my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. Lord, my head is heavy. My body is weary. It's time for sleep, and I succumb. I am thankful for rest and renewal. A time to recharge. A time to dream. A time of quiet. I am thankful for all I have. Jesus, through the power of the Holy Spirit, go into my memory as I sleep. Every hurt has been done to me. Heal that hurt. Every hurt that I have caused to someone, heal that hurt. But Jesus, if there is anything I need to do, if a person is still suffering from my wickedness, bring it to my awareness that which I have hurt and need to remedy. I choose to forgive others and I ask to be forgiven. Remove whatever bitterness that remains in my heart and fill it with your everlasting love. O oh God, at the end of this day, I thank you most heartily for all the graces I have received from you. I am sorry that I have not made a better use of them. I am sorry for all the sins I have committed against you. Forgive me, God, and graciously protect me this night. Take me under your protection. Watch, O oh Lord, with those who wake, or watch or weep tonight and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick ones, O Lord Jesus Christ. Rest your weary ones. Bless your dying ones. Soothe your suffering ones. Pity your afflicted ones. Shield your joyous ones and all for your love's sake. Jesus Christ, my God, the evening comes, the day is done. Let peace watch over my household throughout the dark of the night and in the few still hours of the next morning. Wipe away our troubles, cleanse us of worry and doubt. May your magnificent good be our protection forevermore. Give me light in the season of night, I beseech you, O Lord, and grant that my rest may be without sin and my waking to your service that I may come in peace and safety to the waking of the great day. I beseech you to continue your gracious protection to me and my family this night. Defend us from all dangers and from the fear of them, that we may enjoy such refreshing sleep as may fit us for the duties of the coming day. And grant me grace always to live in such state that I may never be afraid to die, so that living and dying I may be yours. 
through the merits and satisfaction of your Son, Jesus Christ, in whose name I offer up these imperfect prayers. Forgive me for any foolish actions on my part today or things I did without first asking your blessing or wisdom. Those are moments I'd rather forget, but I'm so grateful for your forgiveness when I ask. I never want to go to bed without clearing the air between us, Lord. Our friendship means too much, and your holiness deserves that. Thank you for loving me just as I am. Your love compels me to give you all and fills my heart with praise for the relationship we share because of Jesus. As I close my eyes tonight, I'm praying for loved ones around me, for friends and those who need to know you. Lord, I am praying that your love, like the billions of stars in the night sky outside, will touch them and help them see who you really are. I pray for our world and those in it. I pray for their needs and as well as my own. Lord our God, whatever sins I have committed this day, in word, deed, or thought, forgive me for you are good and love all people. Grant me a peaceful and undisturbed sleep. Protect me from every abuse and plot of the evil ones. Raise me up in due time that I may glorify you, for you are blessed. Together with your only begotten Son and your all Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages, at all times and in every hour, you are worshipped and glorified in heaven and on earth. Christ our God, long in patience, great in mercy and compassion, you love the righteous and show mercy to the sinners. You call all to salvation through the promises of good things to come. Lord, receive our prayers at the present time. Direct our lives according to your commandments. Sanctify our souls. Purify our bodies. Set our minds aright. Cleanse our thoughts and deliver us from all sorrow, evil, and distress as we lay our head to sleep tonight. Surround us with your holy angels tonight so we may have a peaceful and harmless night's sleep, and we may wake up tomorrow and glorify your name. Holy Spirit, please encircle me. Come hold me safe and secure. Wrap my mind up with the truth. Guide my thoughts and calm my fears. Steady my emotions, Lord, and guide my feelings. May I not be overcome by upset. Sustain my soul with vision for the future and hope for tomorrow. Lord, when my heart is overwhelmed, overwhelm me with your peace. Lead me to you, my rock. Guide me to your word, which gives me strength and refuge. Help me not to run to lesser things. Draw me to run to you first. Help me get into the habit of taking my cares and worries and placing it under your will. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen.